Hello, I'm Pamela Luther with the University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture Cooperative Extension Services. I'm the Pope County Family Consumer Science Agent, and I'm here today with Rachel Cheney, the Yale County Family Consumer Science Agent. Today, we would like to address a concern here in the Pope and the Yale Counties. Recent data from the Arkansas Department of Health shows that the number of active positive COVID-19 cases in our communities is close to the top of all counties in the state. So as we continue with opening, we encourage the citizens of Hope and Yelp counties to take COVID-19 seriously. Here's Rachel to tell us how we can stop the spread of this virus. First, we need to educate ourselves on how COVID-19 spreads. The virus is thought to spread mainly from person to person. This is between people who are in close contact with one another within about six feet through respiratory droplets produced with when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks. These droplets can land in the mouths or noses of people who are nearby or can possibly be inhaled into the lungs. COVID-19 can also spread by people who are not even showing symptoms. So next, let's look at how we can prevent the spread of this virus. The best way to prevent illness is to avoid being exposed to this virus. You can take steps to slow the spread. First, maintain good social distance, about six feet. This is very important in preventing the spread of COVID-19. Also, wash your hands often with soap and water. If soap and water are not available, use hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. And remember, when you're washing your hands, to always use warm water and to scrub for about 20 seconds. Routinely clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces. You also want to cover your mouth and nose with a cloth face covering when around others and make sure that you're wearing those face masks correctly. So here are some tips. So if you're wearing a medical or surgical mask, the outside of the mask is usually going to be colored. So it's usually gonna be blue or in my case, kind of green. And the white side is the side that you're going to put towards your face. Another way to think of it is to look at the pleats. So if the pleats are facing upward when you bring it towards your face, then you're wearing it correctly. And you want to make sure too, when you put on your mask, that the metal strip is going to be on your nose. That way you can bend it and fit it to your nose and try to get the best fit possible. Now I'm going to pass over to Pam and she's going to describe how to properly put on the mask while I demonstrate. So first, you're, you want to wash your hands before putting on your face cover. Put it over your nose and mouth and secure it under your chin. Try to fit it snugly against the sides of your face. Make sure you can still breathe easily. So when taking off your cloth face cover, uh, when you're home, you're going to untie the strings behind your head or stretch the ear loop. Handle only the air loops or ties. Fold outside corners together. Then you're gonna place the covering in the washing machine. Now, as you can see, Rachel demonstrated with a surgical mask and those are disposable, so you do not wanna reuse those. But if you had a cloth mask, you would want to wash it in the washing machine and every time you use it. So be careful, do not touch your eyes, nose, and mouth when you remove. And then wash your hands immediately. Although there are different beliefs about how serious this virus is and disputes about wearing masks, research-based information tells us that it's not to be taken lightly. So please protect yourself and others when you're out in public. 